What up, new fam? fam? So we are back at it again with another Blue Apron competition. The one, number and one. This time we're making a sheet pan pork sausage and pepper sandwiches. So this looks scrumdily on It looks good. And I can't wait to <laughs> meet. <laughs> and I can't wait to, uh, you know, get my teeth and tongue and taste buds going with this one. So on this uh, meal, you got the, uh, your ingredients are 10 ounce hot Italian pork sausage. Okay. It's this bad boy right here. Okay. You got two sandwich rolls. All right, you're supposed to have one ounce of sliced roasted red peppers, but Blue Apron didn't have the roasted red peppers, so they substituted it with regular red uh, bell peppers. Re regular red bell peppers that we have to cook on a website. Yeah, so what they did was um, they emailed me to let me know that there was a substitution for the, what was it, red peppers? Uh huh. Sliced the sliced roasted red peppers. And so in that same email, they gave us instructions on how to fix the red bell pepper. So we're not left in the dark on what to do with those. And also we got two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Right there. All right, we got three fourths pounds of golden or red potatoes. My golden. Oven ready. <laughs> Uh, we got three ounces of shishito peppers. We got more than three ounces though. Our peppers. <clears throat> they gave us two cloves, which we got a whole thing of garlic, cloves of garlic. Yep. Uh, one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Now you can substitute the uh, potatoes with two zucchini, but we chose Potatoes, potatoes, so we got potatoes. Yep. And you got one red onion. And it's a tablespoon of hot sauce, but this is a teaspoon of hot sauce. Yeah, like, luckily, you know, we got some hot sauce in the cupboard, the cabinet. We black folks, so we keep hot sauce. We'll definitely be needing some more hot sauce. They tripping. So, what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started, so. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. What we're gonna go ahead and do is start preparing the ingredients. <laughs> so, Ken is gonna go ahead and chop up the potatoes. Wait a minute now, we're competing. I'm not finna chop no potatoes up for you. You gotta chop your own potatoes up. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's all right. It is all right. Move it. <laughs> See, she don't even want to play fair. So of course, you know, always rinse off the clothes. First thing we want to do is half the bread. So. I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I can do this without messing up my bread. Half the potatoes lengthwise. Then cut crosswise into one half inch pieces. If you guys know, and you know I'm gonna bring it up. If you watched 
any of the videos, I told y'all that Tampa Bay Buccaneers was going to win the Super Bowl. And they won the Super Bowl. I told y'all. But did y'all want to listen? No. Did I have some haters? Yes. I ain't going to say no names. Isaiah. <laughs> but my team won the Super Bowl, so I'm happy. My wife participated in the winning. Oh yeah, I'm always participate for Super Bowl. What y'all think about that halftime performance? Boo. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. They could've got somebody else to do that. Jasmine Sullivan could've done that song all by herself. She didn't need no help. No, nah, she did real good. Yeah. But it, it was, it was the first time for a duet on the Star Spangled Banner, and it was cool. It was really cool. Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet. Yeah. Okay. She learning, y'all. She learning. Yeah. She, she learning. She learning. <laughs> Instead of peeling two cloves of garlic, we're just gonna do the uh, minced garlic. Half and peel the onion. Thank you, baby. Cooking together. And we still together. Roast the peppers. Place the potato pieces on a sheet pan, drizzle with olive oil, and season with salt and pepper. So these are mine and these are his. They got no oil on them. So we're gonna put a little grated Parmesan cheese on there. I'm gonna tweak. I want some more Parmesan cheese, but this ain't gonna be enough. I'm gonna tweak. I'm gonna put some actual cheese on top of mine. Oh, y'all, look. I just came up with this idea the other day and I tried it and it's good to me. Take you some pickles. We got the kosher dill slices, right? Or the sliders. You can act, this is, uh, you can use on fruits and vegetables, but we mainly use it on our fruits. Put it on top of this. Yeah. And it actually tastes good. So try it and let me know what you think about it. Right now we're fixing to um, transfer the smashed garlic cloves, onion wedges, and prepared shishito peppers onto a separate sheet pan. And then we're gonna drizzle that with olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. Add the sausage in an even layer tearing into bite-sized pieces before adding. So I hope everybody's been staying safe. You know, get your vaccine, continue doing your PPE, take your vitamin D, C, A, drink your hot tea, drink plenty of fluids, water, keep yourself safe so you won't be sick. Yeah, but it. Oh, I think mine is. I'm gonna have to add some cheese on it. Toast the bread. So it says place the half bread on the reserve sheet pan, cut side up, which we already have. Drizzle with olive oil. While she's doing that, I'm gonna be checking and tossing the meat and vegetables around for. Oh, now you wanna talk to my vegetables? Do so. This is what the olive oil looks like with uh, the bread looks like with the olive oil on it. The next step is to mix up the mayonnaise and hot sauce together. Mayonnaise and hot sauce. I ain't never thought about mixing them two together. Exactly what you say.
potatoes that come up. Now look at that. Don't they look good? Obviously mine looks better. Hey, y'all know it's Team Mike, dog. <laughs> She's sitting there tripping. Uh, she didn't start tweaking until I started tweaking. Whatever. I tell you, this one's so much of a competition type video. We kind of winged it. That and, you know, we pretty much cook together this time. Usually we have a little camaraderie going on, talking. Ish. Yeah. And I know some of y'all still laughing at my cake that I made way back in Thanksgiving last year. So, I'm still hurt. You ain't hurt. Still hurt. A meal ain't a meal without a Dr. Pepper. So this is what we would call our spending time. But we're in a competition at all. <laughs> this is what we do. We cook together. But we do make it fun when we do have competitions. <clears throat> I had got these cups from uh, Big Lots earlier today. Like we needed some more coffee cups. Well, I thought they were a good addition for Valentine because what I was thinking was in the morning, I could make us some hot chocolate okay. with marshmallows in it. And it'll be cute. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Did I get it right this time, boo? Yeah. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day weekend, so. With your loved ones, love them, love them hard, yeah. love them soft. Cause tomorrow is not promised. Real talk. So we're gonna fix our sandwich. Rate down below on presentation for us, please. Team Candy, y'all know team it's all right, team, team Candy. Mike. All right, y'all ready to take a gander of how we fix our, our plates? All right, so this one is Mike's plate. Y'all go down below, rate. Tell him what he got. Boy. You look like a man's plate. Mm. Anyway. All right, so this is my plate. So I have cheese on top of my potatoes. I put my peppers to the side because I didn't want them on top of my sandwich. So that's mine. So y'all go down below and rate and tell us who has the better presentation. That would conclude our Valentine's Day. Blue apron. Cook a meal together. Show each other how much we love each other cooking together. And Slash going. competition. Yeah. <laughs> so check out. Make sure y'all check it out. Yeah. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for your new people. What up, new fam? What up? Welcome to the new fam. The new channel. Yes. So, check us out. All right, peace. Love you. Love you too, babe. <laughs> and read it out loud. My wife, my valentine.